Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, I'm going to go over the Twitter keyword tool version 2.0. I'm going to go all over all of the features that it can do, and then a little bit about how you can use this bot to generate traffic and generate money and leads to your website. If you ever want to go back or go forward to any of the features I'm going to go over, you can click on any of the any of the annotations on the screen on this YouTube video. All right, just to go over this bot is from vtechbots.com. There'll be links in the description to download it and read more. And what this bot can do, it, it can follow, retweet, favorite, and add to list users and tweets all based on keywords. So what you're going to do is you're going to load in an account, type in a keyword, and click on any of these check buttons that you want to do. Follow, retweet, favorite, and add to list. So this works on brand new Twitter accounts that aren't even verified or you know aged Twitter accounts it doesn't matter you can use uh, this tool in many different ways so I just created a uh, a fake account real quick didn't even verify anything I'm going to type in my username and password and so let's start off by going over the follow function so this all, this bot is based off keywords so we are going to target people who have tweeted about a specific keyword and the most recent people who have tweeted about this keyword and then from then we are going to either follow retweet favorite or, or, or add them to our list so for this example let's just go with basketball for our keyword so I want to follow everybody who has followed or I want to follow everyone who has tweeted about the keyword basketball recently before you run the bot you want to have a amount of pages to scrape and this is the bot will go to basketball and it goes to all and it all these people it will follow so a page is basically a scroll down every time it refreshes new tweets that's, so that's a scroll down all right so for this example let's just do five pages to scrape also we have a wait time this is a random wait time so we want to wait I'll just use a small wait time uh, for this example three to ten seconds so it will wait any seconds in between three and ten for every uh, follow So that's pretty much it let's hit start as you can see it logs into Twitter scraping page one through five and now it is going through and following these users so it, it's followed one user this is their uh, unique user ID it will show that just for uh, debugging issues um, and also it says the amount of uh, time it's waiting at the bottom you can see it says users found it will either say users found or tweets found depending on if you're you know retweeting favoriting or add to list they either go by users or tweets and also you can see action sent and that will uh, increment for every action you sent so you can go ahead and stop it and it will cancel all the processes and let's go back up alright so we said uh, we sent f uh, six followers so let's go back to our account and as you saw before it was a brand new account and now I am following twelve people as you can see so these people that I just followed they just uh, tweeted about basketball recently so as you can see you can get some uh, pretty targeted uh, Twitter users to check you out. Let's go over the uh, retweet function now. Let's go back to our account. Uh, let's go back to this. As you can see, I have no tweets. All right, so we're gonna let's just use basketball again. So we're gonna go scrape keywords that people have tweeted about basketball, and we're going to retweet all of their uh, tweets or the tweet that they just tweeted and it uses the same functions as page scrape and wait time let's hit start it'll log into Twitter scrape the accounts and as you can see it is retweeting the uh, tweets and waiting the random wait time so we just uh, sent two let's go ahead wait for one more and let's refresh our page and as you can see we just retweeted these tweets that have basketball in them and the, these tweets were uh, tweeted about a minute ago let's go to the actual tweet 
yeah, he sent he made that tweet 47 seconds ago, and we just retweeted it. So if we were, you know, relate a, a, an account related to basketball, they'd show a high interest in our account. Let's go ahead and stop that. Wait for it to finish up. Okay. Now the same uh, idea goes for favorites. We favorite tweets just like we did with uh, retweets. So let's go back, refresh our account. Okay, I made eight tweets. And retweets and favorite count as tweets. So let's just, you know, run that again, show you guys it's working. Logs into Twitter, scrapes however many pages of uh, tweets, and it favorited one tweet, favorited another. And as you can see, uh, favorites. All right, here. Let's go ahead. Okay, so look, we just favorited a bunch of tweets with our keyword "basketball" in them, and th these people have tweeted about basketball again, 53 seconds ago, 41 seconds ago. These are pretty uh, targeted tweets and getting targeted interest and traffic to our Twitter account and whatever we are promoting through our Twitter account. All right, and lastly, we have "add to list." Now. I really like this feature for many reasons. It is highly underrated. Nobody really, people know about it, but they don't know a way to generate traffic through it. So this bot does use add to list, and we are going to add a bunch of people to our list, get them a notification saying, hey, we've added you to our list, and they'll eventually check out our account. Now what's really cool about add to list is there is no wait, uh, there's no limit, there's no Twitter limit. With favorites, re retweets, and followers, you're limited to maybe a thousand actions per day per account, maybe more, maybe less, depending on the age of your account. But with add to list, you can add, you know, thousands of people a day, even in an hour. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna bump this uh, wait time all the way down to zero because we can. Now to add people to our list, we first have to make a list. So let's go ahead and click on our uh, account, then go to settings and go to list. Now we need to create a new list. And let's just create a dummy list. Uh, make sure the list is public and then save list. And it automatically redirected uh, you to our list, but if you want to get that list URL, just go to lists and you'll see our list and click on that. And now we want to save this URL. It's uh, the URL to our list. And as you can see, we have zero members and zero subscribers. So let's go to our Twitter keyword tool, and let's paste in that uh, <clears throat> that link to our list. All right. So pretty much just like every uh, other function, it uses uh, pages to scrape and random wait times, but like I said, with uh, add to list, keep them at zero because you can go as fast as you want. So let's uh, press start, it logs into Twitter, scrapes our users, and look, it's adding people to our list super fast. Already got 14, 16, 20 people in our list. Let's keep that running. Let's go look at our uh, uh, list. Let's refresh the page. And as you can see, it just added 37 people to our list who are interested in basketball. Now I'm sure you guys are already getting these ideas as how you can get targeted people interested in your Twitter account, interested of what you are tweeting and promoting, and eventually getting people to your site. Uh, <clears throat> add to list functions gives the user who you added a notification, just like if you were following them, so they will see that hey, you know this account added you to this list, and if they are interested, they'll they will uh, check out your your list and check out your account. We just added a hundred people super fast. That's how many people were in the uh, uh, five pages. Now let's say we wanted to scrape 20 pages and that will get us about 400 uh, users. But once once we uh, add 400 users to that list, the bot's gonna end. But what I put into this bot is a checkbox at the bottom to continuously loop. Now what this does is it will uh, scrape keywords, add people, favorite, retweet, follow, whatever you want. 
once it finishes that it will go look for it'll go do the search again because as you can see if we type in basketball people are tweeting basketball multiple times per second so if we scraped 500 users uh, took a couple minutes to add them to our list and then did the search again we're gonna get brand new people so if you want to run this bot all day long and keep getting fresh new people uh, we can check off this continuously loop checkbox so let's leave it at uh, let's just do three pages and let's let this run just to show you the continuously uh, loop function so I'm probably gonna pause this video and I'll start it up right before it reaches uh, 60 people alright so we're coming in on 60 people once it uh, uh, it follows and adds all the people it'll re scrape the tweets as you see as you just saw right there it, it gathers new people for you to follow and it will do this all day long if you have the continuously uh, loop check button checked now this goes for favorite retweet and follow if you want to constantly follow constantly retweet people all day long you can go ahead and do that but as I stated earlier favorite retweet and follow they do have uh, hourly and daily limits for Twitter so if you're gonna use continuously loop you better set some high wait times I'm sure you guys can see the power with this tool already this is a tool that should be in every internet marketers uh, computer it's only nine dollars very affordable and there's a lot of power to this little keyword tool if you guys need any more examples on how I use this Twitter tool to gather uh, targeted traffic to my sites I have made a little method video for my other viewers and that uh, is on an annotation on the video right now you can go ahead and click that if you guys have questions or concerns feel free to leave comments in this video or on the thread that you're watching and I'll see you guys later